According to a captain pilot from a major U.S. airline, crosswind landing isn't inherently dangerous, but rather demands the utmost level of training to execute properly. In the following video, we'll witness some of the most dramatic and perilous crosswind landings in aviation history, among other things. Let's observe how these skilled pilots manage their aircraft. Number 46. Bad Weather Landing Being a pilot is already stressful, but I can say Japanese pilots have it harder than anyone else because of the harsh weather all year round. Number 45. Ski Landing The pilot must have thought that it's a beautiful day to take this twin otter on a skiing trip. What a landing! Number 44. Sand Landing It's a struggle for me to even walk on the sand, let alone land an aircraft like this C-130 Hercules. Brilliant job by the pilot. Number 43. Parallel Landing These two planes were landing parallel to the lake to get water to extinguish a nearby fire. Number 42. Sideway Landing It almost looks like a boat cruising through smooth water. Just beautiful. Number 41. Airbus A3D Contrail This is extremely rare footage of Airbus A3D Contrail from the cockpit view of Boeing 747. Number 40. Wet arrival at Port Macquarie. Look at that wing trail and water splash. I don't think there's a runway anywhere that gets wetter than this one at Port Macquarie. Amazing job by the captain. Number 39, C-47. This C-47 beauty since World War II is waking up for the first time in 10 years. Look at that smoke. The radial engine is nothing like what we normally see these days. Number 38, Badego Airport. Welcome to Badego Airport, where it's hard to take off, easy to crash, and impossible to forget. I've always wondered how strong the wind is to be able to blow a giant airplane out of its path. Number 37. Water landing. Do you think the pilot just decided to take a quick bath in the middle of the ocean? You might not be wrong, but it also takes crazy skill and practice to pull off a water landing and take off like this. Kudos to the captain. Number 36. Taking off from Lukla Airport. And not just landing, but taking off at Lukla is also a challenge. Number 35. Lukla Airport, Nepal. Taking you to Nepal. Let's see how this pilot handles this tricky runway in the world at Lukla Airport. Whoops, he didn't make it on the first try. Let's see how his second attempt goes. He did it. Well done. Number 34. CL415. These Canadian pilots for sure know how to have some fun. Number 33. Giant C-5 Airplane I'm still amazed every day by how they can get this giant C-5 beast to take off and fly.
let alone on such a short runway. Incredible. Number 32. Epic takeoff and landing. Russian pilots are known for their crazy skill. It's absolutely no joke to take off this low that these pilots will have no problem getting into the Aviator's Hall of Fame. These pilots will have a no problem getting into the Aviator's Hall of Fame. And this is another dancing show in the crosswind from Fiji Airways. Number 31. Crosswind Landing. The wind literally said, not today. It was so strong, the entire plane was drifting and sliding, trying to touch the runway. Crazy. Crosswind landing could be terrifying for the crew and passengers, but from the outside, it looks just like a little dancing move from the pilot. Here's some other dancing show for you from the and another one from the side view. These pilots must have given those passengers an experience to remember. Number 30. Student pilot. A student pilot got this helicopter to take off without clearance during an auto rotation practice, and now he's trying to land. Oops. If he went down just a few seconds sooner, he would have crashed into that plane below. That was super close. Number 29. Cristiano Ronaldo Airport. Now let's take a flight to Portugal and land at one of the most dangerous airports in the world Cristiano Ronaldo Airport. Number 28. Indonesia Open Airport. Do you hear that alarm sound? For some reason, management at this Indonesia airport thinks that's all they need to keep people off the runway. No walls, no fence. Seaplanes are landing and taking off left and right, and there's nothing to keep people away from the busy runway. This is too dangerous. Number 27. Boeing 747. Here's another stormy landing of a Boeing 747 during Storm Angus in Amsterdam 2016. Boo! Look at that wind and that landing. It's like he's letting the wind drive that plane onto the runway. Let's see it again. This pilot from Neon Cargo is really killing it. Impressive. Number 26. Boeing 777. This Boeing 777 was trying to land at a Tommy airport during a storm. Look at that shake. It's practically impossible to land, and the pilot had to abort the landing last minute. He went back for another try, and the wind was still blowing crazily. Look at that turbulence. But yes, he won the weather this time. Number 25. Uruguay Air Force. Look at how slippery it is in that smoke trail. But this pilot from Uruguay Air Force has managed to pull it off. Nicely done. Number 24. Crash Landing. Ever wonder what it's gonna look like to be in the cockpit when your plane's about to crash? Here you go. Even though it's not the best landing. But luckily everyone was safe. Number 23. Destroyed runway. Moral to the story is new sod right next to the runway is a bad idea. Good luck to the ground team. We have to redo all the work. Number 22. Abort landing. This 8380 aborted landing at the last minutes. The pilot must have realized he forgot to turn off the stove at home. Number 21. Round trip. Looks like they were gonna land too deep due to access speed. Whoa! Oh, touch and go, touch and go!
It's definitely rare to get to see an Airbus 8380 go around. Bad trip. Number 20. Crazy turbulence. Look at this crazy wind. I'd have a heart attack if I were the captain of that flight. That turbulence was insane. Number 19. Aerosucre. Aerosucre is an infamous cargo airline that has been involved in several accidents and incidents due to the overweight carriage and reckless behavior of its pilots. Number 18. Low takeoff. Runways are always designed to extend themselves in front of a moving airplane but this aerosucre has almost run off the runway and can hardly take off. Did you see that super low pass? It almost hit those people on the ground. These Colombian guys are super brave to even stand there. Number 17, short runway. I think this pilot wanted to use both of the runways, but that first one was way too short. Good job anyway. Number 16. Hamburg Airport weather issue for planes. The brutal weather at Hamburg Airport couldn't stop the Boeing 747 from taking off. The Silkway aircraft indeed left an interesting Silkway of water right after takeoff. Number 15. Convier 340, Pretoria. This Convier 340 suffered an engine failure just moments after takeoff during a flight trial in Pretoria. Number 14. Landing in a corn field. This student pilot on the right was getting a lesson from his coach, Anthony Yen, and everything seemed to be going great. Suddenly a big shake made them realize that they lost one engine. They knew that they needed to land immediately. And they were lucky there was a cornfield right in front of them. It only took him 49 seconds from engine failure to a safe landing on the ground. That's crazy. Quick thinking experience and composure to pull that off. Excellent piloting. Number 13. Maho Beach Plane Landing. If you have a chance to visit Maho Beach in St. Martin, remember to keep your head down because this is what's gonna happen. Everyone was excited to see the plane take off. And if you're not careful, you might get a free flight into the ocean. Number 12. Snow Crash. There is no go around when landing at Korcheville once a chance is all you got. Can you hear that awful squeal of the wheel? He just made a French kiss to snow on a beautiful touchdown day. Wow, that's a really deep kiss, ha! Huh? No worries, everyone on the plane made it out safely. Number 11. Korcheville Airport. View from the cockpit. This plane was landing at Korcheville Airport. Ask any pilot in the world about the most challenging airports, and they will probably tell you about Korcheville. Number 10. Landing plan in the Strom. People said Dutch pilots are probably the best ones in the world. Let's see how they prove their talent in this storm. Brilliant. Number 9. Landing in short runway. This plane was landing on a super short runway. The captain was the famous Russian test pilot, Rubin Yesayan. Number 8. Landing in the fog. Landing in fog is a very challenging experience, especially when you have zero visibility. 
Wow, if this is not what faith looks like, I don't know what it is. The pilot placed his full trust in the machine right there. Number 7. Violent Impact This guy lost his engine right on the runway at the beginning of a Formula One air race. He signaled the crew to get him out. However, the communication didn't come through, and this is what happened. That impact was violent. Wow! I never thought I'd see an airplane accident like this in my lifetime. Luckily, everyone was safe. Number 6. Ilyushin Il-76 The Ukrainian Air Force pilots know how to have some fun during their training. <laughs> Flying in Ilyushin Il-76 That low is really no joke. Number 5. Low Pass Just a typically beautiful day in St. Barth, France, you're taking a walk, and... Boom! An airplane just flies by right beside you. Number 4. Waterway Plane This flooded runway in Afghanistan really couldn't stop the C-5 Galaxy from taking off. What a boost! Number 3. Landing Aboard We're here in Japan. This pilot just didn't want to go around. Let's see. No matter how hard he tried, he still had to abort the landing. He'd return to try to land. Everything seemed easier this time. Number 2. Antonov-225 Crosswind landings can be one of the most stressful things, even for experienced pilots. Let's see how this pilot handles the landing of the Antonov-225. Well done, pilot, but it's not always that simple. Number 1. Cessna Plane The first flight's always the hardest. This Chinese student pilot just flew the Cessna Plane for the very first time after graduation and things didn't go really well. He did hit two signs in a wide open field before crashing. Don't worry, your rich daddy will get you another airplane. This kind of touch and go landings are likely very familiar to some. What is the sensation of landing on the world's shortest runway like? Any pilot who has landed on Saba Island will attest that it requires exceptional skill to land on such a brief runway.